What's up everybody? It is Coach and welcome to Family Gamer 777. Well, I got something to talk to you about. Um, I was on Twitter the other day. Someone got in contact with me saying that they liked a bunch of the Warpath videos and really getting into Dead Zone. And uh, we started, you know, going back and forth, sending each other messages. And it happened to be Steve from Corvus Terrain. So now I know him from the isolation protocols and I know his website pretty well. And he said, I want to send you... Um, some files to print. So I actually, you can hear in the background, I got my uh, Ender 3 going at the ready at all times. But I want to talk about, he's got a Kickstarter coming out and he sent me some of the stuff. This is Keiko Station. So let's take a look at this. All right. Printed a few of these up. Now, I will say that this is a little uneven, but I I didn't, uh, I didn't love my bed correctly. So, but I like, I like this. So this looks pretty cool, right? Is one of the buildings here and another one here so another style okay and you can see that the uh, roofs fit a lot better because I did level the bed all right and here's another one this is very good because it has the open you know open things here open doors here where you can send people through I love that now here's a few other things check this out all right smaller buildings Okay, I like that. And there's some roofs. Check this out. Some kind of uh, some kind of power station or some storage up here. It could be your Prometheum or your whatever, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy particular game that you play. But I really like these these let's say sculpts. They printed out really nice. All right. Um, they are. You can take these off and replace them with say another another roof and so if you notice they have these little pegs here on top right what I like about that is this there we go you have a tower okay so if you're like me I like to print up buildings but I like to move them around stuff so that every game is different all right now here's here's the kicker check this out that's why I have my dead zone board out here to show everyone this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, three by three. Yes, three by three. All right, perfect for dead zone. Exactly what we need for dead zone. And uh, also got, now, if anybody knows me and sees some of the battle reports, I love bridges. Love, love bridges. All right, let's do. Uh, let's put this guy right here. All right, actually, we'll put him right here. We'll get this bridge going. Check it out. Right there. So there we go. Pretty cool. Love it. So, in this grand scheme of things, here, dead zone wise, if we put this here, all right, we have our cube. We have our cube here, but this is also the cube in and of itself. So for another example, I can have my, fero my heroic GCPS with a tricky, sneaky Veerman model coming in here and going to town. So that looks pretty cool. It works. It fits. All right. You know, here we go. Cube and cube. The, the, the cube nature of the terrain makes it perfect for Dead Zone. But I'm looking at this for some of the other games we were playing. Like we're using a Marvel Crisis Protocol. We use in Dread, Strontium Dog, um, any other game for So I really love this stuff here. All right, so let's uh, take a pause. I'm going to put some stuff together. All right, so you can see here I got four buildings, got a bridge up here, um, got some good cover with this, the three by three squares, just a little GCPS for Veerman action here. Um, but if you notice, just with a few buildings, I'm already covering a bunch of uh, squares. I have a long. Uh, 3x6 building here, 3x6, these two here. Uh, yeah, it's some good stuff. I don't know about you. I like building this stuff up, changing it around. But what I like about this is um, that you have this particular building right here, and it's all in one piece. All right? So I'm talking dead zone-wise. It's all in one piece. So what I can do is kind of Lego it and build it up any way I want here. And now there's a bunch of things coming out. But uh, let's go to the website and check out the Kickstarter. All right, so here is the Tyco Starport 3D printable sci-fi terrain SDL. 
Uh, it's going to be Steve's Kickstarter, and it's coming soon. I get the inside track. I think it's going to be in April. Take your time, Steve. Get all the stuff done. Looking good. So, you know, I am uh, saved it. Got 91 followers. Come on, guys. We got to get that over 100. Definitely over 100, all right? But check it out. But I would also suggest go to his Twitter, all right? He's got some really cool things here, man. This paint pal thing is cool. Um, what I like is a lot of people do stuff, and he and he pass, uh, and he posts it here. So if you check all this out, this is someone else did, but uh, using uh, you know you know the Corvus terrain stuff. But uh, look at this. This is what I can't wait for, Steve. Look at this. The modular landing pad. I think that's awesome, man. I can't wait. That'd be great on on the table. Put some uh, some planes on it, right? Uh, yeah. A lot of good updates here. You know, oh, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot, man. All right. And it's got some things for other games and stuff. Here is the uh, Tyco Station here. Loving it. Loving it. Love this stuff. All right. It's like that. But he's also got other things, too, here. So, But right now, we're focusing on this. So, And then also on Cults, there is something where you can download a few of these cool... Uh, you know, these cool buildings and stuff, maybe do it. I want to get one of these. I didn't get one of those. Um, this L-shaped building right here is pretty cool. So, you know, check it out, all right? And then I would definitely go back and back this Kickstarter. I, I backed uh, um, the isolation protocols, and I also got some other stuff, which you're going to be seeing. I got it off his website. And also, too, he has a website with some really good stuff on it, all right? Um, I'm, I'm digging it. You can get... I, I, I got one of these bundles here, and it was pretty good. So that'll be another video, okay? But here's the isolation protocol, which you do some stuff. You know, if you do play Space Hulk or even a futuristic dungeon and whatnot, it's good stuff here, man. Good stuff. But, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I'm going to be revealing a lot of the stuff that I've gotten from. All right, guys, so that is basically it. I like the Tycho Station. I'm loving it. Um, Steve is doing a great job at Corvus Terrain, and I'm really looking forward to see what he's got coming up next. It just seems like... Every day on his uh, Twitter account and Instagram, a lot of stuff is coming up. So I'm going to have all the links below to everything and just check it out. But if this is your first time here in the channel and you want to see more stuff like this and some of our uh, battle reports using this terrain, why don't you click that subscription button and the algorithm is picking this particular video right here for you. Right here, you got to click it because the algorithm picked it for you. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.